Running into sports tonight, welcome everyone, I'm Chaz Messman. There were two cross country meets today in Yuma. Both were at West Wetlands Park. The first being between Yuma Catholic and Maryville up in Phoenix. The girls race started first. Yuma Catholic's Julia Watson and Elise Wonders crossed the finish line together with Watson finishing by a second with a time of 26 minutes and 23 seconds. Amora Thrower finished third. Here's Wonders on the race after crossing the finishing line with Watson. I felt really accomplished, especially because I have never gotten first before. But, and it was also really nice after like practicing and practicing in the heat, it felt really accomplishing. Being a runner is very challenging, but finishing and especially finishing first is definitely worth the effort. For the boys, Yuma Catholic's Donovan Warren finished first with a time of 20 minutes and 20 seconds. Warren was followed by Luke Lee and Dale Burris. Warren is only a freshman at YC, but he has his eyes on etching his name in Shamrock history by rewriting the scorebooks. Um, I'm trying to cut my time so I can beat my school record and make a name for myself. Um, it would mean a lot to me, considering I can make a name for myself. Colleges would look at me, and it would just help me with my life a lot. Let's head over to the golf course now. The Lady Hawks have been playing well as of late. Here's junior Michaela Bocanegra eyeing up her shot and launching it from the tee box. Michaela would shoot a team best 47. Gila Ridge senior Ellie Palmer was one stroke behind, finishing with a 48 on the day. Sophomore Rally Codling also shot below the 50 mark, ending her day with a 49. The Hawks would finish third out of a four team shooting, a team score of 198. Sabola also putting up some good scores. Here's sophomore lefty Lexi Runyon. Lexi finished with a 68 on the day. Here's another lefty and another sophomore, Annie Holbrook. A very nice event for Annie as she finished with a 51. Let's round it out with yet another sophomore, Becca Muncy. Her card was shooting a 55. The Raiders as a team came in fourth shooting a 225. Head coach Kristen Collins says her young lady Raiders are making huge progress. To the scoreboard we go in the final standings. Looks like this. Cam Verde wins the team event with a score of 173. Senior Peyton Gibby from Campo Verde and Arizona College Preps. Lily Humbert led the way shooting 39. Gila Ridge's Michaela Bocanegra finishes 6th, teammate Ellie Palmer comes in 7th, and Cibola's Annie Holbrook led the Raiders with a 51. To Major League Baseball now we go. The Arizona Diamondbacks have worked their way back into the wild card conversation, and they were in New York tonight to face the Mets as a part of a four-game series. The D-backs had their ace Zach Allen on the mound, but uh, yeah, not a good start with Pete Alonso knocking in an RBI on a base hit. Francisco Lindor comes in to score and make it an early 1-0 lead for the Mets in the first. We'll go to the bottom of the second now. Rafael Ortega is going to hit a line drive down the right field line. That's going to go all the way to the wall. Jeff McNeil is going to be racing around the bags, trying to score from first. Is the throw going to meet him? No, what a slide there from McNeil to come in and score. Uh, but yeah, D-backs down 2-0 in the fourth, and things would go from bad to worse in the fifth. Pete Alonso once again, he's going to go hit one into the gap. Brett Beatty's going to come around to score from second, and Lindor is going to come around and score once again. The D-backs take home, or excuse me, the D-backs lose, and the Mets win seven to one.